Although the Manchester Road Race went virtual this year, one big part of that annual tradition is still going on the day after the blood drive because you can't do that virtually. Joining us to talk more about it, we're happy to have Lance Morgan on the show. Uh, Lance, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to join us. And uh, why don't you just start, instead of uh, talking about how it's going to be different, just start by talking about the importance of having this drive in the first place. It has really blossomed over the years. This blood drive is um, a partnership between the American Red Cross and the uh, Manchester Road Race which has been going on for over 35 years. And uh, the tradition lives on and every year we get bigger and better. And we have become one of the biggest blood drive in the state of Connecticut. Now, this part of the Manchester Road Race is integral, integral in giving back to our community. And so we work even during COVID to make this work. Even when we can't run on Main Street, Manchester, the road ra the, the blood drive goes on. Okay, so tell us how it's going to be different this year and what sort of COVID-19 precautions you'll be taking. So um, this year, um, everyone donating blood has to wear a mask. And if you don't have a mask, we'll provide you with a mask. Um, we have hand sanitizers um, provided by ECHN. We have social distance protocol. We also um, utilize a, another part of the high school, which is a cafeteria to hold people so we don't have too many people in the gymnasium where the blood is drawn. So we try our best to only have a certain amount of people within the room at, at once, and we keep social distancing while we get people ready to donate blood. Okay, so as we've talked about, this is happening the day after on Friday. Uh, what are the hours? How can people participate? What do they need to do? Can they just show up? So uh, you can show up. Up to this morning, we had uh, 270 appointments, and we still have slots for more appointments. Um, yes, you can walk in, but if you make an appointment, it, it's much easier. Um, we have food provided by Island Park Market. Hmm. Um, we have T-shirts, road race T-shirts provided to people who are donating. And the most important part, if you donate this year, you can get a free COVID antibody test, which you know will let you know whether you had some uh, COVID at some point and you have some protection. So that's the good news this year. Absolutely. And I was going to ask about that. I didn't know how easy it was to do that sort of thing. But those are the kinds of questions we need to answer. How many people may have just come into contact with the virus incidentally, not known it, and have been protected? That's a wonderful side benefit. Okay, so uh, we had a graphic up, uh, Mr. Morgan, while you're talking, 830 to 430. Uh, what else? Anything else we need to know? Uh, how, many, how many units of blood are you hoping to get this year? I'm hoping to get over 350, and right now with appointment we're 270. So uh, there's still a push to get more um, appointments in between now and Wednesday. And um, you can go online or um, go to the American Red Cross sign and sign up. But we are pushing for at least 350 appointments now. Let's get it done. Redcrossblood.org. That is the website. Mr. Morgan, good to see you again. Great work you and the folks in the uh, Road Race Committee are doing out there. Oh, thank you so much. And thanks to the, for the partnership of ECHN and Eastern Connecticut Pathology Group, Fox 61, Island Park Market. Without your help, we couldn't do this. 